guys. So in this video I thought I would do my August favourites because it's September already. Like today is September the 2nd and I have no idea where the summer went but it's now gone and I literally cannot believe how fast the time has gone but the good thing about September is that it means it's getting closer to Christmas, right? I'm one of those super annoying people that literally is like obsessed with Christmas and I love everything about Christmas. So I'm kind of excited that September is already here and it means I can wear like cozy jumpers and dark lipstick. By the way, I just want to say the lipstick that I'm wearing now because I know that I'll probably get questions. This is Revlon Black, Black, Blah, Blah, Blah. This is Revlon at Black Cherry. But I thought I would do my August favourites for you guys because there were some things throughout August that I was really enjoying and yeah, I just thought I'd put it in a video for you. So the first thing that I've absolutely been loving, really, really loving throughout August and throughout the whole summer basically, since whenever I hauled this, which was like, I don't know, a couple of months ago I guess, this is the Bourjois 123 Perfect CC Cream and I have literally been wearing this pretty much every single day. It's such good stuff. It's basically got the coverage of a foundation. It's like medium coverage and even though it's supposed to be a CC cream, it's more of a foundation I think but it's not as heavy as a foundation and it gives like a really nice finish. And even with oily skin I've been finding that this works so well. It doesn't like show any dry patches which like I occasionally have. It has SPF 15 in it which is also a bonus and it's a really good colour for my skin. I have the shade 31 Ivory. So yeah, I just really, really love this. The next thing which you guys might have seen in a couple of my videos recently, I think I used it in a video last week, um, this is the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. And I hate to say this, but I think I like this more than my Rimmel Stay Matte. And I know that is an extremely bold statement because I've been using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder for literally like since I was 12. But this NYC Smooth Skin Powder is literally amazing. It's not as like cakey and I feel like it does a better job at like keeping my face matte. I have it on today and it just feels like so nice on your face. It's so soft, it's so like lightweight and it really, really works. And this is $2.99 on Amazon. Uh, the only downside to this is because it's loose when you open it, it uh, kind of flies everywhere. You can get it on Amazon and you can get it in Superdrug as well. I should have really mentioned this before I mentioned all like the face products, but this is the Sephora uh, Smoothing Primer. And this is the one that I mentioned that my parents brought me back from France, which was so, so nice of them. I have a hair stuck in my lipstick, which I swear I seem to do in like every single video. I have cats. But anyway, like I was saying, I've really been enjoying the Sephora Primer. What I tend to do is kind of I'll get out of the shower, just cleanse my face, then I'll put on my moisturiser, wait for my moisturiser to sink in for about 5-10 to 10 minutes, and then I'll put this on and leave this to sink in for like 5 or 10 minutes while I'm like doing my hair or like getting dressed or something. And then I've been putting the Bourjois CC cream over the top of it, or my, um, I always find this works really nicely under the, what's it called, L'Oreal 24 hour matte thingy, um, which I actually have on my face today, but yeah, I've really been enjoying this primer, it's so like, it makes your skin feel so soft, you put it on, it's literally like your face turns into like, silk. It basically just provides like a really good base for your foundation. Next I have two lipsticks which I want to mention, and these are kind of similar colours actually. They're both kind of like really natural looking kind of neutral colours, and the first one is the Revlon Just Bitterable, Just Bitterable, Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. That's a really long name. And this is in the shade Honey Douse, I think. 001 Honey Douse. Uh, or it could be Honey Deuce. I don't really know how you say it. This is one of the original Balm Stains, and it's basically just a really, really nice, like, pinky, kind of your lips but better kind of colour. And it does actually, like, leave a slight stain on your lips as well. And it smells of mint, which I actually really like now. <laughs> um, yeah, this colour looks a bit like this. It's basically just a really natural kind of pinky shade. The next one that I've been loving is a new purchase of mine and it's the Revlon Lip Butter in Pink Travel. Oh my gosh, this is also number 001. So both of these are 001, that's really freaky. But yeah, this is 001 Pink Truffle. And this is again, just a really kind of natural, your lips for better kind of colour. It's kind of like a dark brownie kind of pink. And this one's really, really glossy as well. They're both like super moisturising. Kind of looks similar, 
but the Revlon Lip Butter one is just kind of slightly more brown and then this one is slightly more pink but I really really like both the colours. So the final kind of like makeup product is my nail polish of the month which is actually what I have on my nails now. Not that you can really see and also my, my nails are actually like really chipped so I shouldn't have really shown you. If you guys want to head over to my Instagram you'll see what nails I have on now but this is the Makeup Revolution nail varnish in the shade Lilac Love I think and it's just such a pretty colour and I really like the formula of these as well and it was only a pound it's basically just a kind of pinky lilac color this is really annoying me in the camera it looks like my hair is greasy but it's actually because like my roots are like kind of you can see like all of this bit is my natural hair color and then I have these bits over the top that are kind of like highlighted and it's making my hair look greasy and I don't like it so finally I thought I'd mention some kind of non-beauty favorites because I don't know some of you guys might be interested in that so I've got them written on my phone right here so my songs of the month the first one is Jess Glynn don't be so hard on yourself and I've been loving this song like since I went to V-Fest if you guys saw my V-Fest vlog um, you'll see that I actually played this song like a remix of it over the top of that video and since I saw Jess Glynn performing at V-Fest I just have been obsessed with this song and I think she's so talented and this song is just so catchy. The second song is by Alessia or Alicia Cara, I'm not sure how you pronounce her name but she sings this song called Here and it's such like a relatable song. I saw Lord DIY at uh, like singing this on snapchat and I looked it up and I listened to it and I've been listening to it ever since and I just think it's such a good song. So my TV show of the month will come as no surprise to you guys. It's actually Pretty Little Liars and I know this sounds silly because it's kind of not on TV at the moment but what I've actually been doing since the finale and finding out who A is, I'm going back through Netflix starting from episode 1 and I'm working my way through all of the episodes and I'm actually on season 2 episode 6 at the moment and my plan is to re-watch the whole series before January hits. I just thought why not re-watch the whole thing because it was so long ago I'd kind of forgotten what happened in like all the other series. So yeah I thought I'd re-watch it and I'm actually really enjoying it. If you guys have any suggestions on shows that I should watch on Netflix, I know that American Horror Story is supposed to be really good but I don't really know what it's about. So if you guys could give me kind of like a brief summary of that below or if you have any show suggestions that the show that then just let me know down below and I can go and watch more TV and waste my days. So I also thought I would mention a couple of like my favourite YouTube channels of the month. So the first one is Galaxy of Fashion and we've kind of like been talking a bit on Twitter and like commenting on each other's videos and stuff and I just love her videos, they're kind of similar to mine, she does a lot of like hauls and I love watching all her like fashion videos because we have kind of like similar style and a lot of the things that she buys I then go and buy. See so yeah, I've really been loving her videos so if you guys aren't subscribed to her go over to her channel now and watch a couple of her videos and I'm sure you'll want to subscribe because I think she's pretty awesome. Another YouTuber I've been loving which might seem kind of like completely random and completely different is Trisha Paytas and I know that she's very like controversial and a lot of people don't like her but I don't know why, I'm just kind of like drawn to watching her videos, I just, I don't know, I just find her really entertaining. I'm really sorry if you guys don't agree with me, but that's fine, we all have our own opinions. As for vlog channels, I've mentioned this like quite a few times before, but Emily Canham and her boyfriend Jake Boys do like daily vlogs, although Emily's like currently on a break I think from doing daily vlogs, but yeah, their vlogs literally make my day. I wake up in the morning and wait for them to upload their vlogs and watch them and I've been watching them like religiously throughout the whole summer and yeah I just love their vlogs. So that is everything that I've been loving throughout the month of August and I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys think that I should do more monthly favourites then give this video a thumbs up and yeah leave me a comment below suggesting some TV shows that you think I should watch. Also it would be really cool if you guys would subscribe to my channel. I think we're on like 6.8k now or something which is literally like ridiculous I don't know where all these people are coming from and I don't know why you want to watch my videos but thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and if you're not subscribed and you want to be you can always you know just press the button so I hope you guys are having a good day and I will see you in my next video bye